Good morning everybody. Happy Saturday to you all. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much to the new subscribers that have joined us here on my channel. I thought I'd start a new little series. I'm going to call it Saturday Share. And I thought what I'd do is I would put out some of my own items that can be used digitally without fear of any copyright issues. I would make a small item and then I would upload the items that I'd used so that you could use them to repeat what I'd made or use them to make something similar. Because they are items that are either vintage, which means they are well out of copyright, or they're things that I've made myself, I can offer them to you to use for whatever you would like, and I'm happy for you to share them when you've used them. So, <clears throat> carrying on from that point, today I've brought along three old bus tickets. So there's a nice cream one here, a grey one, and a pinky orangey one. Now these old ones actually have adverts on the back. That one doesn't, but a lot of them do. So I will be later on offering these on a digital sheet so that you can use as it were fronts and backs. So that will be added later on. But for today, I've got the three. I've also bought along this 1980 uh, sorry 1894 it's a deed if we open it out you can see it's a deed of shares okay beautiful old writing there and the tension in stamp but all that i've put into the digital is this front section here and i think you'll see why in a minute I'm also going to be using a book page, but obviously you can use any book page or paper that you like. And I'm also using one of my ink stained papers. It's got coffee and blue and pink. So I've put that on as well. So the digital sheet actually looks like this so you've got the three tickets at the end you've got the cut out book page which I'll show you in a minute you've got a small section of that printed paper and then you've got the front side of the deed so <clears throat> what I did was I took a piece of book page and I took my three inch circle punch and I folded <clears throat> my book page now obviously you've got this one here as a template to cut out because I was conscious that not everybody had a three inch punch so I thought you could punch a hole in the middle and cut that circle out and still be able to do it um, but if you want to do it from scratch all I basically did was I folded up my book page sort of like that into three sections and then opened it back out took my circle punch and I punched in the center part of the folds oh I've done that very well now have I pulled that out obviously it went properly last time and then that gave me the back and the flap you can see there okay but obviously you don't have to do that if you don't want to because i've put it onto the sheet for you so then having cut it out and done a little angle at the top which is obviously on the sheet i ended up with this faux cd cover so then my idea was that this would go inside so that we had an interesting back there and that we would make a card area from this so if we consider it as a tag what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it on that red line there 
Okay, I'm just going to cut it up the edge there like that. Obviously, trim him off. And that side as well. Now, those of you that have watched me before will know I'm absolutely rubbish at cutting straight lines. I can see that's really, really bad. So let's try and straighten that up a little bit. That's even worse, I think. But anyway, you get the idea, don't you? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my backing on. So I'm taking my trusty glue stick and I'm going to glue right across that back section there. I'm going to add my coloured paper. Make sure he's nicely lined up. Press him down nice and firm. Um, I find it's quite handy to use my bone folder for this. And then obviously just fold him back up. Secure that crease there. Okay. And... I can trim him off because I've got extra there. Now, this actual page was done on that newsprint paper, so it's quite flimsy. But obviously, when you print yours out, according to the weight of paper, will depend on how well, you know, how sturdy that page is. So I'm just going to square him back up a little bit. Got a little bit of overhang there. So I'm just going to trim him off. Like that. Okay, I need to run a little bit of glue down the sides so that we've got um, a, an envelope pocket, as it were. Now, obviously, on a normal CD case, you would have to fold over much more like an envelope but because of the positioning of the circle punch I couldn't get enough depth to do that so I've just done it this way instead so fold him over and up oh, stick him down like that now obviously if you wanted to there's no reason you couldn't put some acetate or glassine paper behind the circle so that it was more like a, a CD case. I'm going to ink up my edges. Oh you saw I picked that up automatically with the name on the top. I did read somewhere the other day that you can... Um, get a better sort of inking from your pads by storing them upside down don't know if any of you have heard of that before or even done that but that's something I might have to start trying to do see if it does make a difference because sometimes you know they are a bit dry but it's quite logical I suppose that the ink sinks to the bottom so I'm going to try that now obviously you could have inked round your circle as well if you'd have wanted to before you stuck it down I'm just going for the edges here and obviously you can embellish this up to suit yourself with laces and cheesecloth and such but then obviously this we have to check for size it might be a little bit too wide now no it's a little tiny bit snug so I'm going to trim a little tiny bit off this side about there I think that looks a little bit straighter goodness me I'm dreadful cutting straight lines I really should get my cutting board out more often but anyway he now, so you see now, you see how it's poked out there. Well, obviously, if you had your 
um, glassine paper or page that wouldn't so you see he slots in there now now normally for a tag obviously you'd cut the corners off but I'm a little bit conscious if I do that we might let's try don't want to lose too much of the date Like that works doesn't it there you go so we've got our little put out tag that will go <clears throat> in there it is a big circle so obviously you will have that sort of issue if you don't put your glassine paper or whatever inside and now I'm just going to look at decorating this up so I'm going to use a little bit of cheesecloth which I'm sure you've all got in your stash and just trim a bit off there I'm gonna take my tag out for the moment because obviously I don't want to stick to that I'm going to use a bit of random book page to make sure that I don't stick to the back I don't want to glue it all together, do I? See, now, I think, playing with this, it would have been very much better to have um, put that plastic there. And that's something I would do if I was to do this again. Oh, I'm fiddling around here, aren't I? So much for a why don't you try this because it's turned out to be a bit sort of confusing hasn't it but at the end of the day it's just an idea of what you could do with the bits that I've put out for you as a freebie to use so I think because of the colouring and that's why I did the pink the cream and the bluey grey because I thought it worked well with that so I'm going to use the pink one. And I'm just going to trim him down there. Now obviously these are original old tickets. They do have hole punches and tears and things in them. But then I think personally that just adds to the age and authenticity of them. And I think I'm just going to stick him right across the corner there like that. Because obviously, well not obviously, but I'm going to stick this faux CD case into a journal that backside down. So the fact that it's overhanging won't damage it in any shape, form or description. And I think I'm just going to put a little bit of lace across the top there. Um, this coffee dyed lace just across the top there. Make sure we get the front, not the back. And I'm just going to pop him on there like that I'm just gonna cut at the same angle as the flap and now of course if you really wanted to you wouldn't have to stick it in you could use it as an opening flap from the back there but I like it that way around so I'm going to have it open I'm going to ink up that edge of that flap and then I think it would be fun to put it in a journal so that you can see how that works there we go so he sits in there like that okay and if I pull down one of the signatures from the book page journal that 
we've been working on in one of my other series um, we can stick him on and that's another page done then so let's glue him up I'm doing what I always do I am using let's push that back a bit so you can see there you go I'm using my Pritt stick first of all and then I'm just going to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac just for the added strength around the edges a little squirt in the middle why not and then I'm going to put him on my page I don't know why he's a him, but there you go. I'm going to put him on my page like that. I'm going to use a little bit more glue to get under this edge. Like that. And there we have our faux CD pocket with our tag just like that so it's been short and sweet today quick little project mainly to just introduce you to this Saturday share that I want to start I will put in the description the link to my Facebook group where you can download the page to cut these from and work with if you'd like to obviously it'd be lovely to see what you make with the freebie that i'm putting out so please feel free to share your photos take care have a great weekend i'll see you soon bye for now